WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 447. S&P 64, NASDAQ 100, 278. Russell 12, semi 65. Tranny's up 264. Gold is off $5. Silver is flat. Lights recruit up a buck 53. Let's go spend some time with our index charts out here. We'll switch over to those in the upper left hand corner. Momentarily, you'll see the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones already has a Gartley buy pattern. That Gartley buy pattern was uh, actually completed on September 22nd when we had a nice little bull sash candle out there. This is the cash indice. Well, we saw that pull back a few days ago. That triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And right now you're getting that bullish reversal candle. So the Dow has got two bottoming patterns in play. Price above that oscillator and change line right now, 34,321. Watch that level for the close. If price closes above that, Price should make a run for the highs of September 27th. Above that, all the way back to the 25, 25, 35, 475 area. If we take a look at the S&P 500, it has a completed A to B equals CD pattern, as does the NDX 100 right now at the moment. If, in fact, the NDX 100 closes above 14.713.60, that is going to go ahead and generate a Gartley buy pattern for it. Now, it's oscillator and change line changed colors about four days ago, so that should then suggest price making its move up to that line, which is currently printed at 14.964, and a close above that line would suggest a further rally. I would say back to the highs are the swing point of that A to B equals CD from September 23rd. The Russell 2000. Uh, what has this done on its cash basis? It formed a TD9 count top, pulled back to support. That was its breakout level of 2169, moved higher. It's just kind of, right now, there's not a clear signal to Stevie because price is just sitting right at its oscillator and change line. Yesterday looked like the Sox was going to go ahead and bust it to the downside when you had a close below its breakout level of 32.16, but much like the last time it did that, and the last time it did that, it was also a false move that was back on August 18th. Price has regained that level. Price should target its oscillator and change line, currently printed at 33.25. The Dow Jones transports out here, they're targeting the resistance from the September 27th level. Watch the spot volatilities right now down by minus 9.63%. If it's down below minus 10%, that gives you an initiation signal to higher price. Folks, stay tuned. David White's up next. Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien will close things out. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific day.